Hey, what's up YouTube? Good morning. So today I wanted to bring you guys a short video on how to transfer ERC20 tokens out of your MyEther wallet. So the reason why I'm doing this per se is because I am creating myself a portfolio, you know, that I can share with you guys online when I do my channel as I, you know, continue with my channel. And I created it over on HitBTC but HitBTC didn't really have one of the tokens that I had in my wallet. So I did a video earlier of me transferring some SOM tokens over to HitBTC, but instead I think I'm gonna try it with, um, I have some quant stamp tokens in my ERC20 wallet. And these guys are over on Binance and I've never deposited on Binance before. And I've always wanted to try. Um, and I wanted to actually start uh, creating a, portfo a portfolio over there on Binance because of these guys pay you out um, gas for holding your NEO tokens over there. So that was like an incentive. And they're, they, all, they actually have tokens themselves at the Binance coin or whatever. You can check it out on CoinMarketCap. So let's get started. And by the way, I'm not your financial advisor. I'm just taking you on my journey. And, you know, hopefully this, this video can help you out. So please press like and subscribe. You know, that way you can stay updated with my latest videos. So today we're going to use, we're actually going to go into my Ether wallet. And what we're going to do is you are going to log into your account. Me personally, I don't know if you guys have your Ledger, Treasure, Bitbox, MetaMask, Jax, Mist, or whatever, Parity. But me, I'm going to go into my uh, MetaMask extension and I am going to connect it, connect to MetaMask. So as you can see, there are quite a few of these you can connect with. So make sure you pick the right one or you can use your private key or your parity phrase. And you connect um, my Ether wallet to your MetaMask or whatever wallet you're using. So let's see what tokens we have. We need to find tokens on here. So I'm looking for a quant stamp. Let's see, here we go. So we're gonna add these tokens here, show tokens. Let's go back up. Let's see, so quant stamp, it's an entire balance. So we're gonna send 400 tokens over to Binance. So I'm gonna refresh this page just in case these guys log me out, because you never know nowadays. Um, another thing is, if you're using Ether Delta, you'll notice that um, the gas rate or the exchange rate is extremely high. And also, you know, some of the transactions aren't really going through. So that's why I'm transferring my, some of my tokens off of um, Ether Delta and out of the, my Ether wallet onto the exchanges because the Ethereum network is having a few issues because of the crypto kitties game where the network fees have pretty much gone up kind of like Bitcoin so you know right now there's a congestion or a scaling issue so like I said this is why kind of why I'm doing this so let's go over here and look for quant stamp because nobody's going to have time for all of that so we are going to deposit so copy address success and we are going to go back over to my ether wallet okay so we are now going to generate transaction so i hope this works this is my first time doing this actually over to binance so we're going to send the transaction you are about to send 400 qsp to address yes i am sure make transaction Okay, there is a 41 cent fee, submit. Okay, your TX has been broadcast to the network. This does not mean it has been mined and sent. During times of extreme volume, it may take three plus hours to send one. Check your TX below too. If it's pending for hour disappears, use the TX status page to replace. And three, use the ETH gas station to see what the gas price is optimal. And save your TXI 
TX hash in case you need it later. So you will want to save this number. So let's go over and see where these guys are hanging in the balance. Let's see what's going on. Even though I don't think it'll be over there that fast. <clears throat> So let's see. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause this here. And as you can see, it's 1.51 a.m. Let's see how long it takes for this transaction to go through. Okay, so as you can see, we're back. And these guys came in about 1.52. That's what it says, but that's not true. <laughs> it was about a couple of minutes Um it took a few minutes, not too long. Um, yeah, that's basically it. Uh, you can check it. I can check my transaction ID. As you can see, it's here. Uh, and, you know, I think I might want to create a profile over here on Binance as well. I wasn't going to. I just was going to keep everything on my ledger. But, you know, Binance, they have a lot of great things over here. You might want to check these guys out. Um, I'll leave a link below as well. So yes, that's how you transfer from my Ether wallet uh, to an exchange. It's pretty simple and easy. You can do it with either. It's actually faster if you do it through HitBTC. That actually works pretty. The, the transaction shows up um, almost instantly. It just took a few, just a few extra minutes over on Binance. So yeah, so hopefully you guys enjoyed that short video. You can like, subscribe, and stay tuned. And hopefully you guys will stay safe and stay connected. So I'll talk to you later.